Hey everyone, it's Tom here with thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So it's been a while since I made a video on online jobs for students and given that we're approaching the end of the semester and it's been a long time, I figured I would make another one of these videos. And so today I'm covering another five awesome online jobs for college students that you can use to make some money in the upcoming semester or to make some money over break. And one of the ideas in this video even has million dollar potential. And I know that because I actually interviewed some people who are doing that side hustle and they're making a crazy amount of money. So there's some really cool online jobs for students in this video. So make sure to watch until the end. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so for number one on this list of the best online jobs for students is more of a category of jobs and that is crypto and NFT related jobs. Jobs. And I know I talk about crypto and NFTs and the metaverse quite a bit on this channel, or at least recently, and I don't do that because I'm a Gary Vee disciple or anything like that. I just think it's a very, very interesting space. It's a space with a lot of money, and therefore it's a space with a lot of potential, and that kind of extends to online jobs for students and making money while you're in college. And so one great place to start your search is you can just go on to Google, type in like crypto jobs or NFT jobs or something like that, and you'll find a lot of job boards where people post this kind of work. So one of these job boards is called cryptojoblist.com, and it's actually really cool. I was on it, I was browsing around looking for jobs, and you find all kinds of jobs on this site, like front-end and back-end development jobs, graphic design, marketing roles, and it's honestly a really, really robust job site with a ton of different jobs from major companies and some smaller startups as well. And if you're a college student, one really great way to use this website is to apply the intern filter. And so what this will do is it'll only show you internship positions. You can also add filters like part-time jobs. So if you're a busy student, you're not just finding, you know, full-time jobs or senior jobs that need a lot of experience, you're finding more of those beginner-friendly entry-level jobs and they can be part-time. And again, what's really cool is you find all kinds of awesome jobs from major companies like Coinbase, BlockFi, Celsius, like massive exchanges or crypto interest accounts or DeFi projects are posting jobs on these kinds of sites. And so if you're really talented at you know programming or graphic design or marketing or some aspect that can help one of these companies out and you land a job, that just looks incredible on your resume. I mean, I even found some jobs on these sites like running social media accounts or posting crypto memes like there's all kinds of really cool jobs in this space and like I mentioned there's so much money and attention being funneled into crypto and nfts right now so i think if you're looking for an online job as a college student and you also want maybe some full-time potential or to learn some really cool cutting edge skills i definitely recommend looking into crypto and nft related work all right number two on this list of the best online jobs for college students is retail arbitrage and in the intro i mentioned one of the ideas in this video has million dollar potential and this is it so buckle in you know get some snacks listen to this because retail arbitrage is honestly very very cool and it's a surprisingly popular business model so retail arbitrage in a nutshell basically means you buy products at a discount and then you sell them online or in person for a profit. So you're buying popular goods, usually from discount stores like Walmart or Kohl's or Macy's, and then you're flipping them usually online on platforms like eBay or the Facebook marketplace. So again, this sounds rather simple on paper and it is simple on paper. You're basically buying popular things. So you're buying apparel, books, electronics, toys, video games at a discount. So maybe you find them on clearance aisles or things like that. And then you list them online for a regular price or full MSRP and you make a profit from that difference because you're flipping them. And so what's cool about retail arbitrage is basically anything that is popular and sells at high volumes works really well. So if you can go and find a very popular product that sells on Amazon and you find it at your local Walmart at a discount, buying that and then listing it on Amazon yourself or on eBay or some other online marketplace really isn't rocket science. And again, retail arbitrage sellers really like Amazon FBA or fulfillment by Amazon because it lets you buy these retail arbitrage products, you ship them to Amazon warehouses, and when you make a sale, Amazon's actually the company that fulfills the order, so you're not dealing with all this complicated shipping and order fulfillment. But anyways, back to that million dollar potential I kind of teased in the intro. So a while ago on thisonlineworld.com, I actually interviewed a couple, Nate and Alyssa, who are running an Amazon FBA retail arbitrage business. And I asked them all these questions like, how did you get started? How much money are you making? What are some lessons you learned? So I'm gonna link the interview down below if you wanna give it a read, because I think it's really cool. But what kind of blew me away was the small amount of money Nate and Alyssa started with and how much money they're making now. So basically Nate and Alyssa started with a hundred bucks a few years ago. They went to their local Kohl's, they bought some discount products some discount clothing, listed it on Amazon FBA. And these days they've crossed over a million dollars in revenue and they do 30 to $40,000 per month in revenue from Amazon FBA and retail arbitrage. And again, this is just buying and reselling products. So I know they specialize in clothing and things like that, but pretty much any popular product they can find, they're selling on Amazon FBA. And I'm gonna be posting some screenshots 
in this video. And again, you can read that interview where they shared their screenshots and income proof. And honestly, it's crazy to find an online job or business model of sorts that you can start with $100 and scale to $30 to $40,000 in revenue or more. And there are other retail arbitrage success stories as well. If you Google them, like you'll find, you know, reports of people paying for their college tuition through retail arbitrage or, you know, making tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars from a flipping business or something like that. So again, it's a very simple concept on paper, but the actual income potential is quite high. All right, and number three on this list of the best online jobs for students is to do homework for people. So basically you're getting paid to do homework or assignments or to help tutor people in exchange for cash. And now before I really get into this online job for students, let me just clarify one thing. You kind of have to decide if you feel comfortable doing people's essays for money or if you feel comfortable like, you know, helping people with their tests or things like that for money. Because I know some people are gonna say, I feel it's, you know, ethically, incorrect to do homework for people or to do someone's assignment and then they take credit for it and I'm getting paid. But what I will say is I honestly didn't really care about my college that much. I don't think college is great. At least the school I went to was not great. And so if I desperately needed money, I mean, I was already flipping textbooks. I was selling textbooks all the time. I would totally do someone's essay for cash. I don't really care about it. But again, you have to decide if that's something you actually want to do. But anyways, if you are very talented in a subject or you can tutor or help students that are in a younger grade than you, there's a lot of really quick ways you can make Make money by doing homework for people. So for example, Study Pool is one website where you can get paid for things like selling your college notes or your high school notes, tutoring students, or helping with different homework assignments. Now Study Pool states you can earn up to $7,500 per month doing this. This is way too high. This is definitely not realistic, but if you help students regularly or you have some really high quality class notes and you sell those to students, you can definitely make some decent passive income or some decent side income with this online job. And again, once you get into things like private tutoring, you can probably charge $15 to $25 per hour or even more, especially if you're tutoring college students in a very advanced class where they definitely need a good tutor and they're struggling to pass. I also wrote a post recently on thisonlineworld.com about how you can get paid to help people with their homework or how you can do homework for cash. I have articles on how to sell notes for cash as well. So I'm gonna be linking one of those down below. You can check out as well. But again, if you are really talented in a subject and you're looking for a simple online job as a student, you can definitely help people with their homework and get paid for doing it. All right, and number four on this list of online jobs for college students is to become a podcast or video editor. And so I kind of wanted to include podcasts and video editing as like one category. And that's because the demand for audio and visual content is just exploding these days and it's really not going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, pretty much every company is starting a YouTube channel or adding video content into their marketing mix somehow. A bunch of companies had podcasts, even bloggers and influencers are also branching more into podcasts, especially over you know the last year or two or branching into YouTube themselves. And so if you can learn skills like video editing or you can learn how to really make great post-production quality podcasts for people or edit podcasts for people, that is a very marketable skill. It's only going to become more marketable as more people kind of, you know, jump on this bandwagon. And what I find really interesting about this online job for students is that the range in pricing here is just crazy. I mean, there are people who are offering full video editing services on marketplaces like Fiverr for like eight to $20. And then there are people who are offering a very similar service, but they're pricing it at like a hundred to 200 or even $300 or more per video or podcast that they edit. And so what's really cool about this kind of price range is that based on your skills and your network and the clients you land, you can slowly increase your rates and get better at what you do and eventually be charging, you know, 100, 200, $300 per project you work on or even more. And granted, part of this comes with how you position yourself. I know some people position themselves as like very premium editors, whereas some people, you know, don't position themselves that way and they charge a little bit less. But the bottom line is there's a ton of money going into this kind of work right now. And so if you learn the skills, you can monetize them and then, you know, find clients all over the place. I mean, I'm paying a video editor right now who's actually editing a video you're watching at the moment. And I've worked with tons of editors off of places like Fiverr or the Facebook Marketplace. People have even emailed me saying, hey, I'd like to try editing your YouTube channel. What do you think? And they send me a sample. I ended up working with one or two of them in the past. And so again, there's lots of ways you can find clients. You just have to learn the skills first, kind of build a little portfolio and then start pitching some clients you find online. And again, guys, the online portfolio piece here is really critical. I stress this all the time when talking about finding online work. I mean, I'm a full-time freelance writer and without my portfolio, or without those sample pieces, I can't really find new clients and I never would have found clients in the first place. So learn the skills, make a few sample video edits or you know, maybe edit a video for a friend or someone you know, and then use that as your portfolio to pitch new clients and if you stick with it and you keep getting better and better and better, you'll land better clients over time and you'll make more money. All right, and so number five and the final idea on this list of the best online jobs for college students is to get into data entry. And now data entry definitely isn't glamorous work by any means. It's probably the least exciting idea on this list, but there is still a constant need for people who are proficient at data entry tasks. And so if you're looking for a very straightforward, reliable way to make money online as a student and make money from home, I'd say this is it. And so data entry work is definitely worth considering if you're already a fast typist or you're good with technology or you're you know pretty proficient in Microsoft Excel. 
I know everyone says they're proficient in Microsoft Excel on their resume, but I actually mean it. Like if you know how to use macros and use Excel really well, and you're really fast at using a computer and typing, you could definitely consider data entry. And so I just did a really quick search on Upwork for, you know, some data entry jobs to kind of see what was out there. And what was really cool was you find a lot of like really small fixed rate projects, but you also find some fixed rate projects for like five, six, $700 or more, or even a thousand dollars or more. And so again, the jobs really aren't glamorous. Like one job I found was entering lead information from a database into another database. So you're pretty much just copying data over and over again it's not thing you know that's gonna be too stimulating but it does pay well for the work that you do some of them are even simpler like i saw ones and i don't know how this hasn't been automated yet but it was like read these pdfs and transcribe them onto this other you know pdf platform this other platform we have so really simple work you don't need a ton of prior experience and a lot of them pay you know 10 to 15 dollars per hour give or take. So Upwork is a great place to find these data entry jobs. Like I mentioned, you just have to be 18 or older to use the platform. So that's why that is more of a job for college students. You can also look on websites like Appen and apply to them to find different data entry jobs. And of course, just a Google search of like data entry jobs for college students or data entry jobs near me or online kind of thing can also find you some jobs. So again, I wouldn't expect to make more than about $15 per hour, but if you get very proficient at it, you might be able to make, you know, $20 per hour or more. And you might even be able to find some more like virtual assistant type jobs where data entry is just one part of your job responsibility and the rest of it is like social media marketing or email correspondence or setting appointments or things like that anyways guys that does it for another five of my favorite online jobs for college students and i know i've made a few videos on this topic like online jobs for high school students or college students or how to make money online as a student and you know they seem to be the most popular videos on this channel which is why i'm making another one but one thing I want to stress too, and you know, the reason I keep making these videos is that the options out there are pretty much endless if you get creative. I mean, back in college, I made money with pay-per-click advertising, ghostwriting, I made money flipping textbooks, I made money, you know, entering marketing competitions that were going on in my school. There's honestly so many creative ways you can make money online or find some online opportunities and online jobs as a student. You kind of just have to explore what's out there. And then once you actually find an avenue you want to explore, you really have to stick with it because I think most people who can't make money online after a certain amount of time, they, they give up too soon. And really it's making that first paycheck, figuring out that it's possible landing that first good client or finding that first job that kind of unlocks all of the doors and you know proves that this is a way to make money as a student. And again, with the power of the internet, you can learn basically anything you want to. So if you don't know how to edit videos or edit podcasts, you can learn how to do that for free on YouTube or on the internet, or you can you know buy a cheap Udemy course or buy a cheap course online, learn the skills, build a portfolio, you know, get better, kind of hone your craft, then pitch clients and land jobs. Really, there is so much potential out there. And again, you can learn anything for free. You don't have to go to college for a course. You don't necessarily have to pay thousands of dollars for a course. You can learn pretty much anything and turn it into a skill that you make money with. So if there's one takeaway from the video. I hope it's that fact. Anyways, guys, that does it for my kind of long winded conclusion here. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on another five of my favorite online jobs for students. If there's an online job I missed or there's a way you're currently making money online or, you know, making money in preparation for the upcoming semester or that you make money during school, definitely let me know in the comments as well. So other people can explore that money making idea as well. Uh, but yeah, that basically does it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You can leave a like or a comment or subscribe if you did. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all all have a fantastic day and as always don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money i'll catch you guys in the next one